is up loud and proud crowd. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm in the truck with my dad. It's been a handful of videos since you were in a video last. And uh, people like seeing Papa Loud and Proud on the channel. So, of course, of course, I mean, of course they do. But so, I first want to say, everybody who's been placing orders on merch, if you can hear me over the sound of this incredibly beautiful sounding truck. A lot of the merch came in today, so we're gonna be shipping out tons of it tomorrow. I'm, I do apologize for any inconvenience, any kind of weights on that kind of stuff. Been trying to get it done as much as we can, just there's a, there's a lot of stuff to get done all at the same time. But I made a video yesterday, and I don't know if it's gonna be yesterday by the time you see this video, but to me, it was yesterday, I made a video, doing about some parts on the dually, telling you guys what we have in mind for that truck and kind of the plan on that. And I kind of just randomly, it was just like, I decided like halfway through that video, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna offer it up and just be like, you know, just see what they say. I was like, do you, do you guys think I should buy like a cheap 12 valve and then just like put it through its paces, you know, just like have fun with it for a couple weeks, you know, um, mostly in between now and getting the dually back. Cause I'm like, I need content, you guys want content. And I want to do something fun, you know, just something different for the channel that we don't normally do. And so I came across this truck last night and it was, it's a good price. I mean, just cheap, really, really cheap. It's a two wheel drive. I'll show you when we, if, if we actually buy the truck, then I'll show you the truck. I'm not gonna tell you what it is quite yet. I gotta build up that anticipation a little bit more. But you'll you'll see it at some point in this video if, if it's the truck that I pick up. But I wanted something cheap because I didn't wanna take, you know, a $10,000 truck and rag it out for experimental purposes and stuff like that. Like, could you ever take a truck like Nasty Red and beat the crap out of it? No, no, that's, I mean, you can't do something like that. So, uh, but, I, but we found a truck, he's like, it's high miles, it's pretty clean, but it is high miles, you know what I mean? But he's like, yeah, it runs and drives great, all that stuff starts up and goes every day, I run it every day, no problem, so I'm like, sounds just like what I'm looking for. So, road's a little bit bumpy here, so I'm gonna turn off the camera in a bit, but that's what we're gonna look at, just kind of a, something I decided about yesterday and I decided today, I found a truck that fit the criteria. I was like, we're gonna go check it out and see if it's what we want for the channel. Not sure how long it's, you know, we're gonna keep it or anything like that, or if we even end up buying it tonight. But um, yeah, just kind of something I decided as of yesterday and so this morning, I found a truck and I was like, let's go take a look at it with some cash and see what happens. I've seen a picture of the truck and it's not cheap. It's inexpensive. Yes, it's not, it's not cheap, it's inexpensive. So, depends on how you look at it. But good, good looking truck. Um, but it's right in the price range and right in the criteria I was looking for, so pretty excited. I got something for you boys. Oh yeah. I got something for you. This is the next day, and I told you guys yesterday, well, in the beginning portion of this video yesterday, but then I also told you a few days back, I made a video, I said, guys, what do you guys think about me buying a cheap 12 valve and just experimenting with, doing some goofy stuff with it, just having fun, just like a play truck, the next couple weeks and who knows maybe it might end up being kept longer maybe we might do something big with it maybe I might not beat on it just I don't know but I told you guys I would buy a cheap 12 valve and I did and I didn't ever think this is gonna this was gonna be the truck that I bought but I just kind of got on Craigslist for about a day and I was just like what's the cheapest thing I can find right now and uh, here it is and I paid three thousand dollars for it that's it three grand and some people might think that's crazy, but I think it's totally worth it just because it's cool to me. And if I think it's cool, that's all that matters, but I hope you guys like it too. Here we go. 1991 non-intercooled first gen 12 valve. And the thing is actually in pretty freaking good shape. Now, of course, the grill's got a small crack in it up here, just a real small, fine crack. The inserts are kind of banged up. The lights are kind of cracked in a couple spots, but I'm not worried about that stuff. You know, cab is all repainted. You know, no, uh, no major rust under these linings up front. The most of the rust is just under the back here, and if you look under here, it's only in like the middle right here, because the other side like comes off and it's only rusted like right in the top center. But I'm not worried about that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and the cap in the, not cap corner, the rocker on this side has two holes in it. But other than that, man, she's cherry. Like the frame is just cherry. The frame is so mint, so mint. At least for Fort Wayne, Indiana mint, you know. 
No, there's no justice. I don't know how to do justice on this kind of stuff, but I mean, no like crusty frame stuff like falls off. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a difference. Or for example here where you can distinguish there's a different section of metal that mounts up to this and you don't see just rust all crusted up in between to where you can't even tell it's two separate things. I mean, come on. Nothing will come off of this frame. If you, you rub on it, sand on it, I mean, it's a nice new exhaust system on it. It's got a, got a whatchamacallit, a uh, muffler, but who knows, that might come off here. Uh, since it's our new play truck, all the cab mounts are all solid as can be. Solid as a rock bed mounts are solid. Missing a couple bolts randomly. 91 non-intercooled. It's a two-wheel drive. It's a two-wheel drive truck. But it's it's cherry, man. To me, it's cherry. It's freaking, it's beautiful. Now the inside is a little bit run down. Seat's a little bit tore up, but that's typical. They took out the headliner, which I actually don't mind because it looks way more clean. Um, look at the dash. 789,000 miles, and I don't know if that's actually this truck or if the tachometer was swapped at some point. The guy that sold it to me said, he said, I don't know either. He's like, when I bought it, it said that, and it, it hasn't worked for me, so I don't know if it like shut off on that a long time ago or you know how that went down, but he's like, it hasn't worked for me, so he's like, I, I don't know the story behind it. All I know is he's like, it runs perfect. Um, so I don't know if that's the original tack just stopped working when it got to that point or you know, you know, so how long? So he's like, I don't know the actual mileage. It could be 800,000. It could be 80. You're like, he's like, I just don't know if that's the original dash. He's like, or he's like, I don't know if the dash and everything split apart and then, you know, they just replaced the tack and all that stuff because it was all just busted up and stuff. He's like, I just, I don't know, honestly, but um, it's got a new starter, new, whatever this is. It's all shiny new. It's got a new alternator. Um... I mean, just it runs good. It runs really, really good. It's got a new battery, a new master. What is this? I don't even know what this is called. Master cylinder, solenoid, or I have, I have no idea, honestly. I don't really care, but um, it's cherry. It's cherry. Let me, let me start it up. Let me show you guys how this thing starts. I think I just showed you how it starts up, but just, just watch this. Just beautiful. Purrs like a kitten. Like, no like odd shakes in the engine, no like odd rocks or. I mean, it just sits dead still, dead still. It just sits so still. Ninety-one non-intercooled boys. So I don't know what the real plan is for this truck. I honestly couldn't tell you. I just. I came across it, I drove it yesterday actually. The engine was either overhauled or they, re they redid a head gasket or something. Cause he's like, everything's super clean. Like it must, like it could have been redone. He's like, and you can see like new silver gaskets around the block in a couple spots. And he's like, it could have been redone. He's like, I, I couldn't tell you for sure. He's like, I just bought it like this. I drove it like this and I didn't really get much insight on it when I bought it, but. So what should we do with this truck guys? What should we do with the new first gen? I know we haven't really gotten around to doing too much of that truck. We just, we've been so focused on the nasty red and I've been focused on my trucks right now and for this giveaway stuff, but just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Which by the way, I don't know if you guys got to see the truck today, but we have a mint, go back and watch some of the videos, a mint 97, 2500, 12 valve, 205,000 miles automatic, beautiful, beautiful truck, wheels and tires, all that stuff. It's, it's a fancy, fancy truck. We've actually got a five speed, 12 valve dually, that's a 96. That's all actually um, being restored, repainted, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be like show quality when it's back. And we're doing a 12 valve giveaway. We're giving away a truck. So if you guys wanna be in on that, there's not a ton of entries. It's not like a massive view with hundreds of thousands of people. It's nothing crazy. So if you guys wanna get in on that, link in the description to go to my to go to go my website. We got all kinds of cool t-shirts and stuff and uh, get them while they last and get entered while you can because this is a truck giveaway that you might not be able to come across again. Um, with the amount of entries that there's going to be compared to some of the other giant sweepstakes. So definitely enter in on that giveaway. It's every $20 you spend gets you another entry um, and it ends July 2nd. So that's hardly two weeks left. So if you guys are going to get want to get entered in to win a truck, you got to get entered, entered while you can while stuff lasts because some stuff does sell out. We're in the first gen. 
91 non-intercool. I keep saying that, but I've never had a non-intercool truck, but uh, we're gonna find a spot to kinda have a little fun. Oh, the dash is intact too. Look at that. We're gonna find a spot to spin out the tires because that'll kick off our little series of videos on this truck. Okay, here's where we're gonna do a little burnout. I don't know how much of a burnout it's gonna be. Yeah, steady. This is not a cheating burnout. These people love burnouts. They go against That's probably, were both tires spinning? Was yeah. that side spinning? Yeah. Okay. That's probably the first actual burnout I've ever done. And it was weak, but it was probably the first real burnout that we've ever done that was like tires spinning for more than one second. You can drift. You can drift right here. If we have a little gravel. Hold on. Those tires smell so bad now. Oh my goodness, you smell them. Do we have two tires there? We have two tire marks. That's two good. Two tire marks. That's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. One was a little more than that one. Ready? Throw a stack in the bed. I don't know. Just do oh, what you, a hood stack on this thing, dude. A hood stack, yes. like an angle cut hood stack. What, how would you? What would you guys want to see? Just let me know down in the comments. What do you want to see with the new non-intercooled first gen, new oldest truck we have, but the new non-intercooled first gen? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, that's gonna put a wrap on this video because uh, I want to get the video up to you guys today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the 12 out giveaway. We are giving away a truck. It's all legit, there's no games, it's real, not a scam. Um, we're giving away a truck the week of July 4th, so do not miss out. You guys can enter today, go down, there's a link in the description, team-lmp.myshopify.com, and every $20 you spend gets you another entry to win either an automatic or a five-speed manual. Both are gonna be built trucks, awesome condition, beautiful condition. How do they look in person? You amazing. see them. They look amazing. amazing. So if you guys want an amazing, amazing truck that we don't do this kind of stuff with, Enter the giveaway, link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.